Hi everyone, just a really quick video about how to create interactive Google Slides. I'm going to start here in Drive and I'm going to click on New, Google Slides. This opens up a new tab with brand new slides. Now I'm going to go ahead and close this side pane over here, the themes side pane, so I get more space here. I'm also going to go ahead and close the speaker's notes. That makes my screen a lot bigger. I'm going to make this a blank screen by clicking on layout and clicking on blank. So the most important thing to remember is that if you're going to do something like interactive slides, you have to have a plan in place because if you're going to put buttons, then the buttons need to lead somewhere. So you probably need to have more than one slide involved. So just as, as an example, I'm going to go ahead and create a few slides that are really basic. So I actually am going to change my layout and I'm going to put a section header and I'm going to call this one slide one. I'm not going to make anything fancy here. I'm just going to do it very simply. Okay, so there's slide one. Oops. And now I'm going to make about nine more slides. And to start that, I'm just going to click on the one on the left, which is the same one as this one here, but this is just in a simpler view here. And I'm going to hold down the control key and type C. That's to copy it. I do that once. Now I'm going to hold down control and type V nine times until I have 10 slides. Now I have 10 slides. I'm going to go ahead and change the names on them now. I'm just going to leave them very simple. So here I am on slide two. I can tell because this one is selected. I'm going to go ahead and change the names. So this is really great for creating something like a choose your own adventure type of activity with students, but it could also be used uh, with for like just anything informational for parents for back to school night um, or for anything else. So you could also create something like a menu on the left with you know, buttons to different parts of your slideshow. This may be for your entire syllabus for the year so that there are some points where they can, you know, click and just skip to those particular areas and they don't have to worry about, um, you know, finding it. So I'm going to go ahead and create a button. So here's slide one and let's say um, I'm just going to I'm just going to very quickly create a couple of buttons. So the way that I do that, I can do that in a, in a couple of different ways, but I'm going to go ahead and choose a shape and I'm going to choose this rounded rectangle. And I'm going to go ahead and draw that in. And every time you make a shape, it actually just goes ahead and fills it in with this gray color, but it also becomes a text box. So I'm going to double click in here. And I'm going to just type in slide two. And then I'm going to control C to copy and control V to paste. Move this over. And I know it's not perfect, but I'm just going to put slide three. Great. OK, so now I want to make it interactive so that this one goes to slide two and this one goes to slide three when they click on it. So I'm going to select this box. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to select link. The other thing that you can do is select it, hold down the control key and type K, which is the last letter in link. That's how I remember it. All right, so now I'm going to click on slides in this presentation. And if I scroll down, it will give me the slide names. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this one's going to slide two, apply. And again, I'm going to click here. I'm going to do this time. I'm going to do control K. Slides in this presentation. Slide three, apply. And let's test it. So now if I'm here, click on slide two here and I go to slide two. I'm going to go back to slide one. So it makes you think you probably want to put in some slides to go back, right? Slide three, 
hit slide, and I end up at slide three. And that's it. Very simple. I know it's not very pretty, but you can pretty it up as much as you want as long as you know the basics. Again, you need to have a plan when you do this. So just, you know, write it out however you want to do it. Um, but definitely give it a try.